Richard Southern joins us for our interesting stories chat and Richard something big happened 60 years ago that altered the course of history. Boy did it ever 60 years ago today Erica a assassination cut short the life of the youngest man ever elected president of the United States. John F. Kennedy was shot as his motorcade passed through Dealey Plaza in downtown Dallas 60 years ago today. And of course, theories of a wider conspiracy behind the killing were born within hours of the assassination when alleged gunman Lee Harvey Oswald proclaimed his innocence, telling the press in Dallas that day that he was a, quote, patsy. Fanning the controversy is the fact that Oswald, Oswald himself was shot to death two days after the assassination. You know, to this day, this is the one conspiracy theory that everyone can get behind. A new Gallup poll out today finds that 65% of people believe that Oswald had help or was directed to kill Kennedy. The CIA is mentioned most often, followed by the mafia. And one big reason why the assassination conspiracy theories persist is because not all of the files pertaining to that day have been made public by the U.S. government. All of them were supposed to have been released in 2017, but that release date has been postponed multiple times. Are you one of those people, Erica, that think we haven't got the full story on the JFK assassination? Do you know what? It's interesting. I don't know if you've been to Dallas. I have, and there's a museum there, and you, you can walk through and see all of sort of the evidence and the conspiracy theories and the timeline of what happened. And you walk out of there, and you're kind of like, I don't know, there is, there, there's a lot of mystery still surrounding that case. It's true. I have been there. They actually have the X on the street right. where it happened. And you think this guy has to be pretty quick to get all those shots off. It's not a, a very big plaza that the motorcade went through. Maybe one day, Erica, when everyone's dead and buried that was around back then, maybe we'll get the full the story. We'll have to out. see. Okay. One woman is trying to get a refund after buying perhaps the world's most expensive <laughs> sandwich. A Georgia woman went into uh, Subway the other week to get her favorite sandwich. A number four Italian, not a bad choice. She was expecting to pay $7.54, a reasonable price. When she checked her receipt a little bit later on, found out she was charged 7,105 <laughs> bucks, Erica. Yikes, turned out that when she was entering her phone number to ensure she got her Subway loyalty points, the screen, she surmised, must have accidentally turned to the tip screen. She left a $7,000 tip. Uh, the good news is, after a bit of a battle with her bank, she got the money back. She said, quote, how did the bank not think that $7,000 at Subway was suspicious? Of course, the other issue here, Erica, is that all of these fast food places, like Starbucks I go into in the morning, they're all asking for a tip these days. I don't know, should we be tipping Subway and Starbucks? I don't know. That's the big question. It's uh, every, every place is asking for a tip now way more than, I guess, pre-pandemic. So it's the debate. And it is awkward. Time. It's awkward to say no to the tip when the cashier is right in front of you, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, and the big screen is there, and they can watch you say no. So yeah, like, a little bit of pressure. I'll get you next time. We'll get yeah. you next time. And finally, American stores will be packed on Black Friday, but this isn't only a busy day for shoppers, Richard. It is, uh, uh, this Friday, the busiest day of the year, bar none, for U.S. plumbers, Erica. The day after American Thanksgiving is called, I kid you not, it's called Brown Friday. Do you have oh, any no. guesses, Erica? Do you have any guesses why this is the case? <laughs> Perhaps <laughs> the, the thing that are clog that's clogging toilets? Yes, Americans sit down to big Thanksgiving feasts. But of course, while they can gobble down what's ever in front of them, their toilets cannot. And uh, plumbers, they see a 48 to 50% uptick in business in the United States after Thanksgiving. Uh, and the source of a lot of the issues, toilets. People are clogging them up. They're clogging the sinks up as well, Erica. So never mind Black Friday at the malls. The uh, interesting thing, or maybe the gross thing going on, is Brown Friday in American toilets. So we all should just be watching our digestive system. Make sure that you're, you know, uh, not eating anything that could cause you some disturbance there. Yeah, just, you know, stick to the greens, stick to the salad. Yeah, Take it easy. It's all good. <laughs> Better, easier said than done, I suppose. Stick okay. to the $7,000 Subway sandwiches. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.